Hi, Gary Cruz with amazestudios.com here. And if you want to learn how to use Elgato Epoch Cam as an external camera for Ecamm, then watch this video. Hey, Gary Cruz here. And today I'm going to be talking about Epoch Cam as a better alternative for a webcam by using what you have with you. I've been using Filmic Pro. So if we take a look at Filmic Pro, here's Filmic Pro. Um, it's wired right now. And I can use ND Cam, NDI Cam to do it wirelessly. But the reason why I was looking at Epoch Cam is because it has more options to do it over uh, wireless. So let's go ahead and purchase this for $7.99. There is a free version to test it out as well with the paid version there's more options with resolution and different ways to connect so let's go ahead and open this and go through the process uh, it looks like there's a driver that's needed for the uh for the mac so let's go ahead and draw airdrop it to my mac and there's my mac okay looks like it was sent let's go ahead and check my downloads here and there's the Epoch Cam installer. Let's go through the process of installing this. Go to next. Now we got to get connected. Epoch Cam works via USB or Wi-Fi. And to connect wirelessly, ensure that your phone and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. Let's click on next. And so now we have to give permissions. So let's give permissions to the camera, give permissions to the microphone, and give permissions to allow access to the network and click on done. Oh, that was fast. Okay. So I missed it. I don't know what it said if it was connected uh, via Wi Fi. I think it's automatic here. So let's just take a look at the options. Because uh, it looks like it took over my screen here. So if we got 1x, we can mirror it. Okay. Uh, we can flip it. So there's the selfie cam. We'll check the rotation in just a bit. We can turn on the mic, turn off and turn on the microphone. And oh, and then the paid version also supports green screen, which um, I'll turn off for now. So under settings, here's where the connection says auto. Uh, there's Wi Fi, there's USB, and then there's also NDI, which I'll skip for now. And then uh, let's go ahead and put the quality on best and uh, do a comparison here. I'm going to go ahead and compare it against my Sony a6600. All right, let's, uh, let's actually move the interface options off the screen here. All right, let's, uh, let's turn off the options. Where is that? Oh, I know. All right. So. <laughs> Right now, um, since I'm connected wired, Ecamm Live automatically sees it. So let's go ahead and remove that camera and then we'll add the uh, Epoch Cam as a separate camera. So let's go and turn off picture in picture. Let's do this. Sony A6600. All right, let's just take test the latency here. Wow. Um Okay, so my Sony A6600 is connected through a Magewell USB, and it looks like the latency it's noticeable on the Sony A6600. All right, let's try this over Wi-Fi, and let's just do this with NDI. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the camera and see if it shows up as an option here. I think it's because it's still wired. Just for kicks, I'll add the my built-in webcam. 
Sony, iPhone 11, and, uh, aha, I learned a new trick. You hold down option and you drag that over and it copies that over and we'll call this, um, MacBook Pro. All right. So now I'm, now I'm looking at my Sony camera. Now I'm looking at the iPhone and then now I am looking at the webcam. So here's just a comparison between the three in Ecamm Live. And let's just do another latency test. All right, now let's try without the USB cable and let's see if we can connect that way. So I'm gonna unplug the USB cable. And uh, it looks like it got removed here. And uh, let's go ahead and do it via NDI. So now we can see it as an option here and add that back in. It looks like the iPhone over NDI is not in focus for some reason. Uh, the resolution under NDI was at 640 by 480. So let me go ahead and switch it to 1920 by 1080. And uh, add that back in. Again, I'm not sure why it's not focusing. So I tap the focus here. Let's see. 1x, 2x, 0.5x. So I'll leave it at the 1x camera. This is the selfie cam. All right. So this is over NDI. There's a little bit of latency here. Let me switch it back to 720, maybe because of the bandwidth. So 1280 by 720. All right, that's it. That's the magic number. It's, uh, it was the resolution. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. So what are the benefits of using a wireless NDI camera? Well, here it is. Let's just do a quick uh, tour of my setup. Here's my Rodecaster Pro. So right now I'm, I'm connected. My mic, the mic I'm using right now is the Shure SM7B. I got a Sennheiser MKH50 right here because I figured, well, maybe there's some, there's some times where I want to use a mic that's not in camera all the time. So here's an example of the mic outside, without the camera. All right, so, so my Shure SM7B is connected to channel two on the Rodecaster. And over here on channel one, I have the Sennheiser MKH-50, which, which is a pretty um, pricey boom mic. And that mic is used for uh, if you want to have it off camera versus having this big mic on my near my face. The big benefit of the Shure SM7B is noise reduction, right? So I've got my son in the background doing some activities on his computer, but the big complaint that a lot of people talk about is the noise from the MacBook Pro fan. So here's an example. Let me switch over to the uh, Sennheiser. So here's the Sennheiser. Now, I need to adjust the mic accordingly. Here we go. So here's the audio from the Sennheiser. And here's the audio from my Shure SM7B. I have to be pretty close to the Shure SM7B to pick up my, my voice. But the benefit there is that it doesn't pick up a lot of the room noise. So again, let me switch it back over to the Sennheiser. Oh, my arm looks really long here. So I'll mute the Shure SM7B. And then that's the, um, this is the Sennheiser. So if you're interested in that, so if that's something you're interested in, I'll do a separate setup with comparing the microphones between the, 
between the Shure SM7B, the boom mic, and I'll have a lavalier mic, and uh, maybe the built-in Rode, um, I have this Rode microphone, I forget what it's called. So far, my initial impression of the NDI cam is not too bad. If you have a pretty strong Wi-Fi signal, this is the way to go if you want to be wireless with an iPhone. But the big benefit here is that you're not using your built-in webcam. So here's the built-in FaceTime cam. And you can tell the quality is much nicer with the iPhone 11. So if you want to up the quality of your video without spending a lot of money on a webcam, and you have uh, a fairly up-to-date iPhone, which is the iPhone 6S and above, then check out the Elgato Epoch Cam. And you can get it on the Elgato website here. If this overview was helpful for you, hit that like and subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching.